Hi everyone, it's Laura Liz. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I hope you had a happy new year, happy holidays. Today, I'm going to be doing indoor camping. Now, I've never been camping before. It's not something on my list of things to do. I'm not really like an outdoorsy person, but I thought it would be fun because I've never gone camping to go indoor camping. I'm going to do a lot of fun camping-esque activities. I'm also pretty much gonna build a fort. That's like my main thing today. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. So I am going to start, sorry also about this window, I know it's not the best lighting, bear with me. So I'm going to start by taking apart the couch and I'm going to make it a fort. This isn't going to be like a traditional fort where like there's a roof and stuff, it's kind of like an open fort where you could see the ceiling because we're inside, it doesn't matter anyway. So I'm going to use the couch as like extra storage space, I guess for like snacks and things. Maybe I'll like cover it with blankets or something. And I'm thinking purple because purple's like a fun camping color. So yeah, and then I'll start bringing in all of my snacks. Here is kind of what I'm thinking. And then I think I have a tent somewhere that I could put inside of this. So more on that in a minute. Okay, so I think my fort is done. Yeah, I got a little carried away with stuff in the fort, but I'm gonna show you around and you can see what I put in my fort. And then we can do some other camp activities or what I think people do when they camp. I don't really know, but most of it you can't do because like I'm not outside, so I'll do what I can. This is what it looks like. So we have this lovely um, purple velvet entrance blanket situation. And then when you go in, there's this lovely tent to go into for the night. So I put a pillow over here. This is like the pillow hangout corner. I have this Slytherin pillow up here and then a bunch of other ones I've accumulated over the years. By the way, the tent is Kim Possible. Iconic. Then I have the snack section. Over here we have like peppermint bark, pop tarts, obviously, Oreos. And then I have marshmallows and graham crackers over here for if I want to make s'mores later, which may or may not happen. There's a good chance I will end up just eating these both plain. Let's go inside the tent. I have not been in this tent in forever. And then this back door opens up. And then I have a little arts and crafts section. So I have a deck of playing cards over there, a Hello Kitty coloring book, a Pusheen coloring book, and Where's Waldo? So that is my fort tour. Now I'm gonna do some of the activities that I have in there, maybe have some snacks. So time to indoor camp, I guess. Okay, so this tent totally fits. You can't see me if I go inside because the flap is a little too low. Well, this is exciting. That's enough time in the tent. Not the most exciting part of camping, I guess. So let's do some other stuff. Yeah, I guess there's not that much to do when you go camping. Like, you just eat and... I mean, you make s'mores, you tell ghost stories, which I'll do later. Maybe I'll play some games. Or we can find Waldo. You could play along, too. Do you see him? Nope, okay. Do you see him? What a fun game. You know, I really am one with the indoors. But like seriously, what better way to avoid the bugs, to avoid like the whole weather thing. If it's raining, if it's snowing, you can avoid so much by just camping in your living room. Like this is great. I mean, I have snacks. If I have to go to the bathroom, I could just go down the hall and you could charge everything. I mean, 
Okay, so we are inside of the tent. I'm just gonna tell scary stories. There was a girl, and everyone told her, it's pajama day tomorrow. But it wasn't. She showed up the next day in pajamas. She didn't live to tell the tale. She was alone in the house, and then a spider crawled across the floor. They never saw her again. You know what's really scary? Going to the DMV. You know what's really scary? How close this camera is to my face. You wanna know something really scary? Uneven eyeliner. Most of those scary stories were like makeup focused or bug focused. I guess clearly my deepest fears are like makeup and bug focused, so good to know. Realizations about myself while in a child-sized tent. It is getting very staticky in here, so I'm probably gonna leave soon. This is a very small space. Anyway, so this has been Not So Scary Stories in my tent in my fort while I'm indoor camping. Comment below, scary stories, if you have any like actual scary ones. I'm a huge fan of scary movies. If you have any recommendations, let me know as well. I made it out of the tent. So, um, this probably hasn't been that eventful, but I mean, most of you guys hopefully watched me pour ketchup out of little packets and then put them in a bigger container. So you're not really expecting that much, hopefully. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification every time I post a new video. I've got a lot of fun ideas, a lot of fun things are gonna be happening, so get ready for that. If you're still watching this, first of all, thank you, you're a real one. But if you're still watching this, leave a comment below and let me know, do you want me to schedule my videos? Like, you know, every Thursday or every Wednesday or whatever day of the week you guys want. Or do you like kind of this sporadic, whenever I feel like it schedule? Let me know, do you want a schedule? Do you want me to just keep doing what I'm doing? Thanks so much for watching and spread positivity. Bye guys.